Hey everyone, if you've worked on a web project, you've likely heard of tools like Webpack, Vite, Rollup, or Parcel. In this video, we're breaking down web bundlers, what they are, why they're essential, how they've evolved, and which one might be the perfect fit for your next project. Before we dive into comparing bundlers, let's take a quick look at why we even need web bundlers in the first place. Whilst there are many benefits to using a web bundler, the two most important ones are performance and a better developer experience. A web bundler significantly enhances your website's performance by combining multiple JavaScript and CSS files into a single file or fewer files. This helps reduce HTTP requests and makes your website load faster. Bundlers also perform minification, removing unnecessary characters like spaces and comments to further shrink file sizes for faster downloads. Beyond this, bundlers further optimize performance with features like tree shaking to remove unused code, code splitting to load only the necessary parts of the application on demand, and much more. A web bundler also improves the developer experience by allowing modern, cutting edge code to work seamlessly across all browsers. Developers can use frameworks and tools like React, Angular, SCSS, and Less, which browsers don't natively understand. Bundler processes and converts this code into standard JavaScript and CSS files, which our browsers can understand. They also help transpile modern JavaScript, ECMAScript 6 Plus, into ECMAScript 5 for older browsers. This allows developers to use the latest features without worrying about browser support or writing fallback code. OK, we've covered why web bundlers are important and the benefits they offer. Now let's dive into the core of the topic, comparing the different web bundlers out there and helping you figure out which one's the best fit for your needs. Now let's take a quick look at the popularity trends over the past decade between Webpack, Vite, Rollup and Parcel. Webpack, the oldest of the group, has been around since 2012 and dominated the market for years. Then came Vite in 2020. Eight years later, and it's been growing rapidly ever since. Rollup, launched in 2015, and Parcel, introduced in 2017, have carved out smaller, more niche roles in comparison. All right, so which bundler should you use? Well, it depends on your project and your vibe as a developer. Let's break it down. Webpack, if you're working on a big, complex web app and need ultimate control, Webpack is still a solid choice. It's like the Swiss army knife of bundlers. Powerful, but maybe a bit overwhelming for beginners. Big companies like Airbnb, Microsoft and Reddit rely on Webpack for their enterprise-level projects. Vite, are you building a modern web app and want a fast, smooth development experience? Vite is your new best friend. It's perfect for entry-level devs and pros alike, thanks to its simplicity and speed. Vite is the default bundler for Vue 3 projects, and is gaining popularity among startups and indie developers. Rollup. If you're creating a library or a package that others will use, Rollup is the way to go. It's lightweight and excels at producing clean, optimized bundles. Popular tools like Svelte, D3.js, and Redux Toolkit use Rollup for their builds. Parcel. Hate configuration? Parcel's got your back. It's great for small to medium projects where you just want things to work out of the box. Companies like Adobe and many startups use Parcel for rapid prototyping and smaller web apps. So there you have it, a quick introduction of different web bundlers. Whether you're Team Webpack, Vite, Rollup or Parcel, the key is to pick the tool that fits your project and your workflow. And remember, there's no one size fits all answer. The best bundler is the one that makes you more productive and your projects more awesome. If you found this video helpful, please hit that like button and subscribe to stay connected and let me know in the comments what's your favorite bundler and why. Until next time, happy coding. <laughs>